Hello fellow engineers and welcome to TerraTech Worlds. Now this is by the same team that brought us TerraTech, but it's not actually a sequel. It's like a reimagined original experience and just you wait till we get into it. So there's several different planets, but we'll select this one because the landmass is nice. So I'll make an appropriate save name and then we are good to start. And oh my goodness, this is a bit pretty in it. Uh, yeah, so this is running in Unreal Engine 5. So that's probably why it looks so nice. By the way, this is a sponsored video by the devs themselves, Payload Studios. So if you do want to check out the next fest demo or wishlist the full game, which launches later this year, boost the link in my description and uh, check it out potentially with friends because this is a multiplayer demo as well, by the way. Anyway, so in this game, we are in control of this little robotic thing, which has very good, oh, it has very good turning. It's a zero point tornado. Zero point tornado t-shirt coming soon but yeah so we've got we got forward we got backwards we got good turning as we know we've got this laser which allows us to mine stuff yeah it's so like over here there's a boulder we can have a little go at that you can see that's got pretty pretty good strength though uh, down in the bottom left that little bar that's how much energy we have so that's about to run out at 46 percent of the boulder damage so we're just gonna wait for that to recharge before we can have another go so come on come on die boulder explode boost and then it pops open and oh wow it really did explode <laughs> it left a big old crater uh, wow okay so yeah down here we've got like little bits of these are carbon i think yeah, and we can use them to go build some good stuff um, and to start off our active task is to go build our tech yard like where where we're gonna put our base so where do we want our base to go i should probably do a little bit of exploring first so i think we'll head over this way we got some water there i don't know what they are can i like do anything oh my goodness oh dear ow <laughs> oh no i'm stuck on my butt i'm doing the butt slide <laughs> help me butt slide nado t-shirt coming soon anyway thankfully i can write my tech by doing that so that's good let's um let's continue without going into those things anymore by the way me glowing green that's me healing myself um shall we go yeah let's go down here Ooh, this is a nice little beach oh what is that though what is that ah they're shooting at me they're shooting at me run 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 or rather than run hide 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 um oh dear oh dear hide 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 right classic game of hide and seek going on um so yeah this this planet is surrounded by other bots this is pv PvE, but you can play online remember so there could be pvp people uh, so yeah for now i'm gonna run away that's probably not the best place to put my base although actually maybe maybe i should fight for what i believe in because what we can do we can we can sort of upgrade our car now i've looked in my inventory and i found we have a little weapon there can you see we've got like different connectors on the top so i'm gonna shove that sort of there i think and you can see this gun needs ammunition and we can right click to fire it um, if you come up to this tab here the weapons and equipment you can actually select like what what thing you want to go off with like what mouse button you can like group them and stuff as well so basically i've got that as right click so oh sorry plants boosh sorry um which means i now not only have my mining laser which i think i can use as a weapon but i also have this this little turret now which means we can probably get back over here and try and defend my my river have we already scared them off no there he is there he is right, i'm gonna sneak around this way All right you want some let's go for the wheel go for the wheel take the wheel down there it is we've taken one wheel off Right, if we can take another wheel off. Aha, he's got no back wheels. Right, now let's remove a front wheel. There we go. And then there is... Is there still a gun on it? No, I think we've we've knocked the gun off. Um, So basically, any parts we, like, break off, we can actually gain them ourselves. And, like, we gain, like, little bits like that. So that's a load of ammo. Um, so you sort of want to try and knock off the pieces that you, you sort of want for yourself. Um, I think, though, this is probably a good little... Sp to have my base i'm thinking so yeah we can come into our into our inventory we can select the tech yard and then we can place this down somewhere now we've also got a, a little ramp piece as well and then this is the start of our base and i think i'm gonna build like a bridge base over over this river because like why wouldn't i i'm an engineer in order to build that equipment we've got to find some iron now iron is found in a resource node called hematite um, and it's like it's sort of like brownie color so i think that's some there actually so we'll head over to this and we'll get our get our mining drill on the goat oh nice we've like we've split the middle bit so we can take the middle bit out boosh boosh oh man there's so much iron there so there it all is we can now drive into that collect it all oh my goodness all right and then we can continue crafting our base because we now have the resources to construct if i just go up to this cab crafting tab uh, we can build some of these die platforms so let's get five of them on the goat then you'll see they're going into our inventory they take up 
four blocks. So we can grab them and then we can start building our bridge. So we'll just shove those like that. Queue up a few more of them. Keep crafting. And then we built our first base, which is also a bridge, which means we need a bridge review. It's a bridge made out of iron die platforms with a ramp up one end for easy access. It allows safe travel over the sea below, unless you can't drive and you fall off. Whilst there may not be that many supports underneath, the bridge can take a heavy load of my car as well as my entire inventory. So overall, I give this bridge a bright orange 7.7 out of 10 bridge review. Right, so anyway, we will be using this as our base. Now, in order to in order to like actually build our buildings and stuff that we need, we need to make this wider so we can still drive on it. So I'll add a couple more platforms to the side and then we can craft a workbench and then we can place this. I don't know. There. Right, okay, so this thing requires power, which we don't have at the moment. Thankfully, we can craft an AC carbon generator. I don't know why the default for these are upside down, but let's flip it up the right way around, and then we can shove that. I think we got to make sure the... Do we need to make sure they're touching? He says like a red cross. I think maybe we need to connect them with wires using that. So if I place it that way... Yeah, I think we'll be able to make power, but first we need to collect some carbon. So the question is, can we like destroy these trees? Because we know boulders have carbon in, but do trees. I mean, they should do. They're both made out of carbon, right? Oh, it exploded. And in the crater in the dark, there's a load of carbon. Nice. So we can head back to our base, which by the way, we have a, like a little compass on the front of our vehicle, a little holographic compass. I think that now leads me back to my base in blue, which is very handy. But yeah, if we interact with that, we can grab some carbon and shove it in the carbon input. Boosh. And then we can toggle on. So I think we're now making power, although it's not actually sharing power. And I I think that's because if you look up there, it says put the generator and the workbench on the same platform to transfer power. So I think because they're on slightly different platforms, they're not sharing power. Um, I do just wonder, could I like... Could I just move these about quickly? So now they are sharing that block, right? So if I now power that on, does this have power? No, I don't think it does. I think you've got to use the, you got to line those up, right? So if I grab this and rotate so that they're lined up. Yes, that's how you do it. So now we have power, which means in this workbench, we can now craft from a variety of different options. Oh, there's so many things that we can craft. Now we're going to start with a supply fabricator. So it needs eight iron and two carbon. So if we just shove some carbon in the front, shove a load of iron in the front as well, and we can say, right, craft one of those, please. Then I can take that out of there, shove it in my inventory. And actually, are there wires? Oh, yeah, there are wires. Power pylon. Right, I think I want to see th what the power pylon does. So let's go find some copper. Now, I imagine copper might be like those little things. So are you copper? No, you're bauxite. You may have copper inside it though. So it will just explode that out of existence. Is there copper ore in there? There was, oh no, aluminium. Ooh. Okay, so still on the hunt for some copper. Oh no, I'm being hunted. I'm being hunted. Right, he's got three wheels. Take out, oh, I've just took off the back wheels. That's a terrible design. Let's take his gun off as well. Yeah, what are you going to do now, mate? Nothing. Nothing. Get rid of that wheel at the back. Oh, I feel... I feel like I'm removing like the legs from a fly or something. All right, get rid of that one as well. Boosh. Um, oh, we've just picked up a, an item from him. So nice. Gained some more ammo there. What item did we pick up? Oh, look, we got like lights and different sort of connectors. Oh, nice. Can I shove a light on top? Decent. How do I turn it on? Don't know, but I need some copper. I feel like copper's usually like sort of bluish, isn't it? Maybe maybe it's in like that rock there. So what is that? Halite. Oh, could that be copper? That was chlorine. Oh, oh hang on. Oh, I don't like the look of that tree. Why is it all electrified? Can I laser it from here? How close do I need to be to laser? I don't... Ah, ah, I don't want to make it angry. Oh, I made it angry. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, thankfully we respawn back at base. Now, the bad news is I've lost all of my all of my inventory stuff. Now, if I press M for map, look, we get this cool little 3D holographic map. You can see over this way, if I just follow the river, that will lead me to where my, where my stuff is. So there is my inventory. The thing is... <laughs> I don't want to get too close to that tree. Oh, thankfully I can interact from back here. So there's the crate. I can say take all. And then we can just be on our merry way. Right, I'm hearing very scary noises. Oh, there's an enemy up there. Oh, there's also, there's a new rock there. Quartz. Ooh. Oh, look. Oh, that's actually parts or something. I think something got destroyed. Oh, no, it's by that. It was by the tree. It got destroyed by the tree. So I just picked up parts of an enemy that went too close to an electrified tree. Who does that, really? <laughs> but yeah, let's destroy this quartz. I assume, oh man, the top of it fell off. I assume there is just quartz in there. No, no copper. Oh, I got too close. I got electrified myself. <laughs>
<laughs> Idiot. All right, so I'm heading back. Oh my goodness, there's a flower trying to kill me now. Why does everything want to kill me on this planet? Run away. Oh, I'm stuck on a tree. <laughs> right, run, run, run. <laughs> I don't like this planet. It's really scary. All right, anyway, there's all my stuff. Let's grab all that. All right, and apparently on this map, if I zoom out, yeah, can you see there's a key? So there should be some copper ores somewhere. Although, to be honest, I'm not seeing any of those icons on this map in the slightest. So maybe we have to, like, discover them first. Anyway, I'm going to head back, take out this guy that's trying to destroy me. All right, we've taken all the legs off. Oh, are we gaining wheels? All oh, right, we can gain his wheel. His wheels are way better than mine. All right, what don't I want? I guess I can get iron anytime, get debris anytime. So now we've got the space. We now have medium wheels, but only two of them. Anyway, back Back at my bridge, which I'm not using. I'm just driving across the water because it is shallow. <laughs> Yeah, we can then do a load of crafting. So, I want to craft a supply fabricator. So if I just rotate and shove that there. We can then power that on. And then in the supply fabricator, this is where I can make all different types of ammo and fuel. So, if I want to make some light ammo, I need aluminium as well as carbon. Uh, which means I'm probably going to need some space. So, I can either make some storage or I can just make my vehicle a bit cooler. So, if we drive back onto this platform, the tech yard which I just realized I installed upside down. Uh, we can then interact with this. <laughs> oh, that's why everything was building upside down because I built everything upside down. That makes sense now. But yeah, I can now I can now build my car a bit. So I want to have a look at these medium wheels. Oh, they are big. They are big boys. So let's shove little wheel back in there. We'll put a medium wheel on the back. Oh yeah, we're going to look like a tractor after this. So bigger wheels at the back should be more traction. I think I'm going to remove the light. I don't think I need it for anything really. And I'll put my laser there. I've got another weapon which I can shove there. There. Cool. Now we've got two guns on the front. That does mean we use two two bits of ammo per shot, though. So really got to get the the ammo up and running, which means I got to go get some aluminium. Now I'm pretty sure aluminium was this. By the way, I think my bigger wheels they're actually faster. So we'll just mine all those blocks, go into it, and then oh, that's a lot of aluminium. But yeah, look as we drive across this, that's definitely ah. That definitely felt faster because I couldn't I couldn't even stay on my bridge. I feel like my bridge should be Dr. Point for not having safety rails. Not going to like. Right, anyway, we shove aluminium in this. We also need some carbon, uh, ooh, which I don't have at the moment. Carbon generator is also out of carbon. OK, I really need to do some deforestation. Sorry, tree. So, ah, we've been shot, been shot. Get back. Right, take out the wheels, take out the middle. Blue tree. Oh, my goodness, got annihilated. Anyway, after destroying the natives, I should be able to fuel up this thing again. So carbon in there, restore grid power, and then in this thing, add more carbon, and then tell it to make some light ammo. Right, okay, so we're now crafting light ammo, so I'll keep taking that so we can be nice and stocked up. All right, so next up, I've got to build this refinery OE, so I do actually need, I need copper now. So time to do a little bit of exploring, I guess. All right, I see electrified tree mullering everything. Actually, can I just shoot this tree from here? Is that hurting it? That you can see... <laughs> You see that guy there getting destroyed. Yeah, I don't actually know if I'm hurting the tree. I don't want to waste all my ammo on it. Oh, I got rid of it. Oh, I destroyed the tree. Oh, okay. So what was it filled with? Lithium. Ooh, interesting. And then there's all these parts of like another... <laughs> another enemy that got completely annihilated. Okay, so I'll tell you what, since I don't have storage unlocked yet, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shove everything like in this hole. Oh, I've got another gun. I've got another two guns. Just shove it in the hole. Actually, I have another frame. That's not my frame, is it? That's like, oh, I should be using that, surely. All right, hang on a second. I'm tempted to rebuild my craft again. Let's... <laughs> Let's get back on the platform. Okay, can I just add this frame onto what I already have? It looks like I literally can. I'm realizing I didn't build my base in the best place because uh, <laughs> I can't add this wheel anymore. So yeah, let's just move that building up that way. All right, then I'm going to add wheels to the front and to the back. I'll add two more guns to the front as well, as well as my mining laser thing. Okay, so that's pretty beasty. Now, it looks a bit like the Batmobile, in my opinion. Anyone else seeing that? Is that just me? Anyway, now we... Now we're, now we're too wide for our bridge, so I'm going to have to use the unstuck thing just to get off. All right, no, something about this really doesn't work. <laughs> Have I put wheels on, like, facing the wrong direction or something? All right, oh, now I've gone into my hole. I've picked up all my items that I didn't want to pick up. To be fair, though, I thought this might work a bit differently than it is. All right, I think wheels on front and back. Probably not the most clever idea. Right, okay, let's go get our crate, which is down there. We can then take everything. This works so much better with just four wheels. <laughs> 
All right, we can then drop all that stuff and then we can go see how our new weapons work. So boost, 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 boost. We've shot it in half. All right, so, oh, do we get that wheel? Oh, we got that wheel. I think I've worked out how you how you gain their items now. You got to destroy destroy the cab. Oh yeah, medium shifted wheel. That is decent. We will be using that in the future. Um, oh look, I've got a resource laser. So that can go on the front. But yeah, everything else in the hole. Oh, I've got a little bit of copper. All right, then we are on our way to actually find a decent amount of copper. We got so much firepower out the front of this, by the way. All right, little car. Oh, it does have some big wheels. Okay, let's try and... Oh, I destroyed one of the wheels. I was going to say, let's try and destroy the front of it. It's just... Bye, have a great time. All right, it's repaired and it's scarpered. It was scared of us. That's good. I think my main form of attack is looking scary so people don't mess with me. Right, anyway, oh my goodness, that guy does look scary. Oh, actually, it's not as big as I thought it was. That's what she said. It's like a little truck. It's like front flips. <laughs> Oh, we have mullered it with our guns. Oh, you want some, do you? Come on, then. Boosh. Destroyed. I don't even want those wheels. I'm just going to leave them there. Oh, look what I spy over in the distance. What is that? It's like a huge crane thing. All right, let's try and get up there. Now, this does look steep. I'm hoping my, my thing's got the power to get up there. All right, we're working along a ridge with a wide vehicle. Not the best idea. I've just grounded myself. Okay, we made it up to this thing. What is this thing? I have no idea. It is huge, though. Oh, my goodness. All right, oh, interact. Oh, we found some copper. There we go. What else we got? Refined iron and some carbon. Okay, we'll take the good stuff. Oh, I can literally, I can nick these pieces. That's a hetra platform. Oh, that'd be perfect for my bridge. All right, cheers, whoever this is. <laughs> I'm just like destroying someone's base, I think. Right, oh, everything above collapsed. I was wondering if that was going to happen. Oh, now I don't know what any of these pieces are. <laughs> Oh, we got some more ramp pieces. I'll do like a ramp and shove these in. Oh, this is such a good haul. Actually, what is that then? A si Can I have a silo? Right, I think that's storage. So we've just gained some storage by stealing it from someone. Thank you, game. Oh man, look at all those pieces. What is that at the top? I don't know, but we can make it collapse and find out. So the top crate. Oh, is it that one? I think it's that one. Oh no, it's bouncing. Oh, it's gone all the way down there. We're never finding that. Right, well, anyway, that was a fantastic haul. I could like destroy some of that, I guess. Get some girders on my bridge. I think, to be honest, though, I'm probably good just to head back. All right, so here is our lovely, lovely bridge. And I have good news in that we can add some width as well as some more ramps, which means we can turn our bridge from this little thing into this. Oh my goodness, look how wide this is. I've never seen such a girthy one. But we got the support pillars. We've got cross bracing. We've got we've got width. We've got so much width. I can even carnado in the middle of my bridge. Anyway, when I was back over here collecting all the all the parts for my bridge. Um, not only did I notice the, the curvature of the earth there. Yeah, look at that. Sorry, flat earthers. Um, but also down here, I noticed they were camouflaged. But this ore here is called cuprite or cuprite. And it's uh, it's full of copper. So finally, we have our copper and it was hiding in plain sight the entire time. Which means that we should be able to craft that refinery thing. So with all my buildings set up, let's come into this and then get the copper in. And with the iron, that means we can get the refinery on the the goat. So you see progress down the bottom. Boosh. Sorted. So we take that out of the output, shove it there. And then we say we probably just want to keep adding to this. So with the refinery at the end, we can now produce more stuff stuff like refined iron and copper. Yeah, and why do we need that, might you ask? Well, if we head back into the crafter workbench, you see a lot of this stuff requires like refined iron, copper, and carbon. So let's do that. So we'll make some refined iron. Thank you. Then some refined copper and the carbon, which means if we plug them all back into the workbench, we can make a launch pad. Ooh, launchy. Then, oh my goodness, it's huge. Although that is set up so we can do more complicated jobs now. Uh, first off, I've just got to collect some copper. You'll notice there's storm clouds about. There are lightning strikes happening. Presumably, if I get struck by them, it's probably death knowing this game. You just saw some lightning there. That was terrifying. You do have to ask yourself sometimes, why are we trying to inhabit this planet when it clearly wants to kill us? <laughs> anyway, you'll we'll grab the extra copper that we need or just watch it fall down the cliff. Cheers, game. All right, then we'll head up here. And by the way, that is a very efficient looking rock from this angle. We'll just grab the last of the copper that we need. No, please don't all go down the cliff. Please, please. All right, and then, oh, we've entered like a muddy biome. I'm actually struggling to uh, to drive in this. Man, it does look cool though. Look at all the leaves. Look at all the leaves. But yeah, I'm really struggling to go anywhere. Oh, I did just see over this way though. There was another truck and it looked like it had big wheels. Oh, they don't look that big now I'm close. 
still. I will destroy him anyway, because I'm like that. Oh, I should have read the hint. Cooperate can be found in high altitude locations. I mean, that is high altitude. Oh, look, there's like something built up there. Okay, I got to try and get over that way. Oh, I got punted by a bush. <laughs> Fortunately, this thing has about as much power as an editor trying to leave the basement. But we did make it up and we do have more copper. So it was worth going high after all. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all that copper. That is what we're talking about. Anyway, and up here we found like sort of like a tree. Oh, no. My blocks are freezing. Ah, it's so high. I'm freezing. Got to get down. Got to get down. Back to the warmth. Anyway, you can see literally just how big this world is now. It goes on for miles and miles. And it's just full of danger. Oh, and this is a really silly place to drive, Matt, with all those electrical trees down there. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I've gotten too close. Am I okay? I might be okay. I just want to get to the peak of the mountain. I'll tell you what. Can I not use this like plant to like launch me up. Use it to my advantage. Boosh. Yes. Yes. We're up to the top. Oh, no. No, we're falling. Oh, no. I don't have grip. I don't have grip. I don't have grip. Get my wheels down. No, the electrical tree. No. Run. Oh, poo. Well, anyway, as I get zapped over and over to death, uh, I will say thanks to devs for sponsoring. Be sure to check out the game. Uh, Boosh link in my description. And I'll say peace, love, and a million volts. Bye, guys.